Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we're going to learn the concept which is known as the cap capacity utilization rate formula. Let's understand this formula and uh, let's have some insight regarding this. The capacity utilization rate formula is your actual output and the divided by the potential output into 100. Okay, this is mechanical thing. Let's understand this formula. See, the I'll write for you the capacity utilization rate formula over here. Now, this particular formula is used to access a company's operational efficiency. However, this ratio is also used in a very broader perspective. If it, it basically measures the realized potential output, potential output of the company. So this is important because it shows the company how much they can still actually utilize. So the formula is the capacity utilization rate formula is equal to your actual output divided by the potential output. This whole thing will be multiplying it with 100. Right. Let's understand the example of capacity utilization rate formula. Let's take a very simple example to illustrate the capacity utilization rate formula. There's a company, let's say, KG Inc. and company can produce, let's say, 60,000 stickers a month. So during the last year of 2017, they could only produce, let's say, 40,000 uh, stickers due to the absence of labor. So what we need to do is we need to find out the capacity utilization of KG Inc. This is uh, easy. I mean, we already know that the actual output of uh, KG Inc. Uh, during the last month of 2017 was 40,000 stickers and the potential output is 60,000. So by using the formula of the capacity utilization, uh, we just need to punch in the numbers. So let's put down the numbers, the actual output that is 40,000 that and the potential output is 60,000. So what we are saying that, you know, this is what they can produce. This is the potential that they can. And let's find out the ratio. It goes for 66.67, that is 67%. So from the above, we can find out that the slick of uh, KG Inc during the last month of 2017, it is uh, basically is equal to 100% less 67%, which is your 33.33%, right? So that is the basically, you can say that it's a slick. Let's understand the explanation of the capacity utilization rate formula. See, this ratio talks about two separate components over here. Now, what are these components? Let's understand this. The first and the foremost component is the actual output that is basically produced by the company. And the second component is, is the maximum, you can say the maximum output a, a company can produce in a given period of time. So, for example, if we look at the manufacturing company uh, for a month, we could be able to discover that how much the company has uh, basically produced uh, during the month. And then we can check how much the company can actually uh, produce. So, comparing this two will give us a hint about how much the capacity uh, the company has uh, utilized during the month. If the capacity utilization of the uh, company, this right, the capacity utilization of the company is let's say less than 100%, then the company can increase their production. But if we look at from the another point of view, we'll also be able to see that the utilization rate, it basically talks about how much slick a company is doing in a particular period of time or a time period. For example, if we see the capacity utilization is 56% of the company, for an instance, in a given month, 
they would also be able to discover how much the company shouldn't utilize during the particular month. So the percentage, the capacity that the company couldn't utilize is, or, or the, I'll repeat, the percentage, right for you, the percentage of the capacity that the company couldn't utilize is called your slip. This is very important. I'll write it in bold. Right. So in the above example, the company uh, during the month has a slick of 100% divided minus the 56% as given above. So the slick is 44%. So this is how the explanation part of this particular formula works. Let's understand the use of this particular formula. So understand the application of the capacity utilization, we need to take an example. Let's say the there's a company called, again we'll take KJ Inc, it's fine. Uh, that's the normal one that we say. You know, KJ Inc has a pen manufacturing company and has produced close enough to produced 80,000 pens per year and at a rate of $1 per unit. So one per unit I'm talking about here. One dollar. In a given month, pen manufacturing, uh, that is a KG Inc, has the potential output of let's say 17,000 pens uh, at, the, at the same cost per unit, that is one. Then the company is running how much short, that is 80,000 divided by 70,000. This is one lakh seventy, I'm sorry. So the, the firm is running how much short 47% of its capacity. So from the above example, it is it is clear that the capacity utilization talks about the operational efficiency. I mean, uh, higher, it is, it is good, higher the utilization rate would be the operational efficiency, a good operational efficiency of the, uh, of the company and lower the utilization is bad. So even the capacity utilization has a great effect on the economic policies that have been made by the government. I mean, uh, they, they look at the capacity utilization to figure out how much to stimulate uh, of the capacity in the economy, how much to basically inject or how much to pull out is what they are trying to determine based on this particular formula. So let's put down things in our calculator. Let's say over here, we'll put down actual output, potential output, and finally, we'll say the capacity utilization rate formula, right? So let's put down some numbers and try to analyze. Let's say the actual output over here was uh, 40,000. The potential was 50,000. And let's keep this number the same. The, in, the utilization got increased. The utilization got increased to, let's say, 45, 50. And let's keep a drop over here to 30 and 20. So we'll also try and find out the slake in all the cases. So the output is going to be control R. The capacity utilization rate is 80, 90, 100 and 60 and 40. So over here, the slake is going to be 100% less 80%. So you can see, see the slake is decreasing and then it's increasing. So you can put down and punch in your own numbers and try and come out with some really good conclusion. Thank you everyone. Cheers.